everyone, Vidhi here, and I'm currently a first year bachelor's student at TU Delft for computer science and engineering. Today, I'm going to be talking about my experience at TU Delft's Erste Jahres Weekend, or as it's known in English, the Freshman Weekend, so that you can decide if you want to go or not. Because when I went, there was literally like zero information online about it and what it was actually like or what happened there, which made me feel very nervous about going. So let's first talk about what the Erste Jahres Weekend is. The Erste Jahres Weekend, or the EJW, is a three-day weekend camp organized by the student associations of TU Delft, so that accepted students have the opportunity to get to know other students and their own bachelors before the study begins in September. It's basically three days of meeting new people, partying, and doing outdoor activities. It takes place outside of Delft, and the exact location depends on what, what bachelor you're doing. So for example, for computer science and engineering, my student association, Christian Huygens, organized the weekend, and since they're also the Association for Applied Mathematics, we went on our camp together. Our camp was in a town called Schomere, which is approximately a two and a half hour bus ride from campus and is actually really close to Eindhoven. But aerospace, for example, is organized by the Leonardo da Vinci Association. And they have a completely different experience because their weekend is actually more like camping and is located in Brabant. You can sign up for freshman weekend using a link that I've put in the description. And by signing up for a freshman weekend, you automatically become a member of your association, which gives you many student benefits like discounted textbooks, exam archives, but it also allows you to attend many different events during your time at Delft. Like this year, they're organizing a gala. So essentially, it just helps you be more social during your time at Delft. I'll be putting a link in the description to the Christian Huygens website where you can find out more information. But for now, Let's get back to the EJW. It is super important to note that every bachelor leaves on a different day. So in 2024, the computer science faculty had our camp between 9th and 11th August. This is actually pretty early in the year. And because of that, a lot of international students were still moving in or hadn't even arrived in the Netherlands yet, making the majority of the people at the EJW Dutch. I would say that 70% were Dutch and 30% were international, but it's still a really great way to experience Dutch culture and the internationals are definitely not left out of any of the fun and everyone speaks in English so that there's no language barrier either. Since it's so early in the year, it's also possible to join the camp later like halfway through, but I don't really recommend it because it's only a three day camp and the camp itself costs like a hundred euros. So if you're coming late, that's not really a great value for money. Transport wise, they do offer to pick you up from the TU Delft campus, so that's nice at least, but it's ultimately up to you and if you wanna spend a hundred euros if you can't get the full experience. If you're scared of missing out, don't worry. TU Delft also organizes an introduction week called the OV, which is a larger event than the EJW, and you can meet many new people there as well. If you want, I can make a separate video on that. You can leave a comment down below. Now that we have all of that information out of the way, let's move on to what we actually did, including what the accommodation looks like, the food that we had, and the activities that we did. As I mentioned, it's a three-day camp, so for us, it started on Friday. So Friday morning, everyone went to the TU Delft campus, and they introduced us to the theme of the weekend, which was Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Algebra. They told us that we had to wear this shirt all weekend, but luckily by the end of it, people had started to change into the clothes that they had actually brought. Um, and on Friday, we also had a workshop about sexual experiences and a tour around the EEMCS building, which is one of the tallest buildings in Delft. 
And after that, we finally had the long bus ride to Somura. I know it sounds a little strange, but a lot of people haven't seen the TU Delta campus yet, and a lot of people also haven't had sex ed or conversations about sex at school. So it was a really informative way to start the weekend, and it was a really good icebreaker as well. I think people definitely felt more safe and comfortable around each other after we had those important conversations. For example, one of the conversations that we had was what to do when you're in an unsafe environment and how do you handle situations like that? Who can you talk to during the weekend and what can you do when you're outside of that TU Delft environment? After that, we all got into these huge double-decker buses to go to our accommodation called the Hof. Since we went during the hottest week of summer, it was awful because none of the buses had working air conditioning. So I would seriously recommend bringing a portable fan or plenty of liquids to stay hydrated and to wear shorts. So even though that was a bit rough, the organizers called the Vivi made sure that we were entertained by doing karaoke on the bus. And it's also just a really nice way to get to know the people that you're sitting next to and the people that you're going to be spending at least the next three years with. When we finally got there around 4 p.m., we all went to find our rooms which can have anywhere between two to nine beds in a single room. I, myself, was in a room with eight other girls and I really liked it because we all got to know each other better and I genuinely don't think we ever had a boring moment. The rooms also all have bunk beds, so you have to bring your own pillowcase, mattress sheet, and blanket. You can find a packing list on the EJW website, which I'll put in the description, but I found it too basic and I made my own, which you can also access in the link in the description. After settling in, we had dinner and explored the area, which is absolutely gorgeous. As you can see by these videos I took, I'll show them in the next few clips. There are so many fields to play football, volleyball, or ping pong, which reminds me of the food. As per Dutch culture, breakfast and lunch are sandwiches, also known as boterhamme. So I would definitely recommend bringing your own snacks if you're not used to having a cold breakfast or a cold lunch. In Dutch, we also have a saying called op is op, which in English translates to if you're late to a meal, you can expect that there may be nothing left anymore. For example, in the weekend camp, if you were late to a meal, there was often no more peanut butter, jam, cheese, or sometimes even no bread left. There's also super limited cutlery, so I would also recommend bringing your own. It really helps and I wish that someone told me that when I was packing for my EJW because trust me, even a spoon or a fork would have been super handy. Luckily, for dinner you get a warm meal. So on the first night we had burritos and on the second night we had some kind of curry. Everything is vegetarian so there's nothing to worry about there, but if you have additional dietary restrictions, then don't worry, the organizers send out a form before the weekend begins, so you can always let them know then. On top of that, every night, so on Friday night and Saturday night, everyone has an option to either go and party or to play board games, or both. So here's a few videos of that too. Saturday, the Vivi had organized a lot of fun outdoor activities for everyone to partake in. I'll show you guys a few clips of that now.
For a lot of the activities, you can get wet, which is what you need your swimsuits for. There's no actual swimming involved, but it's just better to be prepared for those outdoor activities. On our last day, Sunday, we actually spent most of the day just cleaning up. Um, and after cleaning up, we went straight back to bed. <laughs> Finally, let's talk about my experience. Overall, I have to say that it was a really worthwhile experience. One of the best parts was being able to make so many new friends who are also starting the same study as me. It was great to connect with people who I'll be seeing a lot over the next few years, and it definitely made starting university a lot less intimidating. To be honest, it was really the highlight of my weekend being able to share a space um, where I could talk to people about the things that I was passionate about and being able to discuss topics that I could see clearly they were passionate about as well. And even though this is something that you can do in your classes, it was just a different experience altogether being able to live with these people and to be able to have those new and amazing and important memories together. Another big plus was that I got to form my own group for the OVA, which is the introduction week for all new students. This was a huge benefit because I was able to choose my own mentor as well. So I didn't have to get randomly assigned to a group or randomly assigned to a person I didn't know. And this made me feel like I had more control over my experience. And I'm really glad that I did it because I was super nervous about that as well. On top of that, the activities were actually really fun. The organizers really put in a lot of effort into making sure that we had a great time and that we always had something to do. However, I do want to be honest about a few things. If you're someone who's used to luxury, this weekend might not be for you because the conditions that we were living in were pretty rural. We had communal toilets and bathrooms that were shared by both genders, and we had traditional Dutch food, which might not be everyone's cup of tea. Plus, there were people who were drinking and smoking in the middle of the day, which might not be something that you're comfortable with. So, was it fun? Yes, absolutely. Would I do it again? Probably not. But all in all, I would still highly recommend the freshman weekend, especially if you're excited about meeting new people and diving into the student life. If you have any questions about the freshman weekend or anything else about TU Delft, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this because I'll be making more videos about my journey at TU Delft and possibly also a day in the life of a student. And I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.